Notwithstanding the delay this year, I am determined to continue to work with the National Assembly towards improving the budgeting process and restoring our country to the January-December fiscal circle. I note with pleasure that the National Assembly is working on the enactment of an organic budget law so as to improve the efficiency and the nation's budgetary process. I am concerned about some of the changes that the National Assembly has made to the budget proposals that I presented. The logic behind the constitutional direction that budgets should be proposed by the executive is that it is the executive that knows and defines the policies and projects. Unfortunately, that has not been given much regard in what has been sent to me. The National Assembly made cuts amounting to 347 billion naira in the allocation to 4,700 projects submitted to them for consideration and introduced 6,403 projects of their own amounting to 578 billion naira. Many of the projects cut are critical and may be difficult, if not impossible, to implement with the reduced allocation. Some of the new projects inserted by the National Assembly have not been properly conceptualized, designed, and costed, and will therefore be difficult to execute. Another area of concern is the increase by the National Assembly of the provisions for statutory transfers by an ag aggregate of 73.96 billion naira. Most of these increases are for recurrent expenditure at a time we are trying to keep down the cost of governance. And thanks for staying with us, everyone. Welcome back. We'll, uh, we've been talking to Senator Ita Enang, the President's Special Assistant on Legislative Matters. We've since been joined by the Deputy Chairman of the House Committee on Legislative Budget and Research, Honorable Lego Edago. He joins us uh, in our Abuja studio alongside with, uh, Senator Ita Enang, who's been with us on the program. Welcome, uh, Honorable. Let's begin uh, with you, Honorable. Uh, there's been these controversies and differences between the executive and the, uh, and the uh, legislature on the issues of insertions, which is generally termed as the issues of budget. Uh, I mean, a pardon. Does the National Assembly have the right or the prerogative to add new projects that were not either though brought into the budget by the executive into the document, into the appropriation bill? Well, um, thank you very much. Uh, it's very clear from the provisions of our constitution that the National Assembly is duly empowered to appropriate. Uh, basically, what the president submits to the National Assembly is a budget proposal. In other climes, in the US, for instance, they operate a presidential system of government. It's the same presidential system of government we operate here in Nigeria. The President of the United States sends a proposal to the House. It's the House that sits down to write the proper appropriation bill based on the President's proposals. So the same thing operates here. Even though we accept the budget proposal as fully drafted from various MDAs of government in the National Assembly, but we cannot sit down and rubber stamp what the President sends to us. It's not possible. We need to consider so many variables. We are representatives of our people. You know, we cannot come here to the National Assembly and just rubber stamp a budget sent to us by Mr. President. Honorable Dago, sorry if I'm butting on what you're saying. Uh, sorry, uh, it, it's stated that most of the, uh, the items 
and the project that is introduced by the National Assembly are in the purview of the local government and the state. This is a federal budget. No, I beg to disagree with that. You know, uh, governance is about catering for the needs of the less privileged and the indigents in society. Mr. President cannot sit down and say that what we put in the budget can be taken care of by the local governments and the state governments. Well, recently, uh, not too long ago, when Bill Gates visited us in Nigeria, he had cause to say there was a disconnection between the federal government and the people in terms of programs and policies as reflected in the budget. 